It has become a common sight in Los Angeles. Piles and piles of illegally dumped trash in just about every part of the city. The trash problem is something the NBC4i team has, in, has been investigating now for over two years and hearing about it almost every week from our viewers. Investigative reporter Joel Grover tonight got the uh, first look at a blistering report that was made public today. This report details how the city of Los Angeles has failed to control the epidemic, they call it, of illegally dumped trash. Mounds of filthy, rat-infested trash now block city streets, alleyways, and litter the freeways. Eyesores like these have become as much a part of the L.A. landscape as the mountains and the sea. It's utterly unacceptable, and we are all experiencing it, unfortunately, in every single neighborhood of Los Angeles. L.A. City Controller Ron Galpern gave the I-Team a first look at this scathing report called Piling Up, Addressing L.A.'s Illegal Dumping Problem. Respond Stops with me. Almost two years ago, after questions from the NBC4i team, Mayor Eric Garcetti vowed to crack down on illegal dumping. We will not tolerate businesses that use our public streets, our spaces, or alleyways as their private dumping ground. To catch the illegal dumpers, Garcetti promised to install a network of surveillance cameras. Now, Galpern's report says there are only 19 cameras installed in a city of 470 square miles, about one camera to watch every 25 square miles. Is 19 cameras really enough to catch all the illegal dumpers in this city? No way is that enough. The real issue is that we need way more of them. The mayor also vowed to issue stiff citations to people caught illegally dumping trash. But Galpern says the citations are often only about $250. When you consider how much it costs to legally dump, it actually pays for many, particularly in construction or other kinds of activity, to do that illegally. How big do you want to see the fines for illegal dumping? State law allows uh, up to $3,000 fines, so at the very least, that amount. Controller Galpern says the city needs more sanitation workers to clean up illegally dumped trash heaps. It's a public health issue, a public safety issue, an environmental issue, and a quality of life issue for everybody. The head of L.A. Sanitation tells the I-Team his department has made good progress combating the illegal dumping problem. But he says because of a city hiring freeze during the pandemic, there are now 17 vacancies in sanitation that can't be filled even as the trash continues piling up. For the I-Team, I'm Joel Grover. The I-Team has reached out to the mayor's office repeatedly since yesterday asking for a comment on the controller's report, and they still haven't provided a statement to NBC4.